Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my X Men Apocalypse or <laughs> X Men Apocalypse X Men Dark Phoenix <laughs> movie review. Uh, if that says anything, um, if I had to describe this movie in one word, that word would be unnecessary. This movie was just not needed. I didn't need to see it. I want to see what Marvel wants to do with these movies. I don't want. I, I want to put as much distance as possible between these movies and when Marvel takes it over. Nobody asked for this movie, nobody wanted this movie, and I don't know what is this sick, disgusting, pointless, stupid obsession that Simon Kinberg seems to have with the Dark Phoenix. He can't do it. Just give it up already. Now, I looked up this Simon Kinberg guy, and he's really, this is like one of his first times directing. I think he's only directed one other little, little thing before. And that. Uh, He's largely been a producer, about 35 credits to his name. A lot of TV in there. Um, and he's really all into this Fox uh, kind of stuff, Fox X-Men stuff. And really looking at his resume, he's all over the place. He's got some movies that I absolutely love. Um, you know, but outside of the X-Men, the only movie he's made that I really liked was The Martian. And I don't know how much he really had to do. So, I really think he should just uh, find a new career in Stop It Already because I don't think he knows what he's doing. Um, his movies, I, I just... Why why did he do this? Why was this movie necessary? Who asked for this? I didn't want this. This is like the solo movie. It's a lame duck movie. It's unnecessary. On the Star Shredder scale, I give it a 50 I liked it better than Apocalypse, but I just don't... Why was this made? The movie seems so short. Magneto didn't need to be in the movie. Look, I'm going to spoil it, okay? They go to space. She gets her powers. Then she's like, oh, my dad's still alive. She goes over to the neighborhood. X-Men follow her. She kills Mystique. She runs away. She goes to Magneto, who's in, like... A reservation uh, she's like help me he's like no then she leaves after like blowing up a chopper after also at the neighborhood she blew up some cops so that's why they sent the military so then she goes uh, to the city and cries by a dumpster then Jessica Chastain finds her and she's like, give me the power. And then the X-Men start fighting in the street because they chase her there too. Magneto finds out she killed Mystique. That pisses her off. He goes to kill her, but clearly he can't. Um, she gets knocked out uh, because Jessica Chastain tries to take her power. Then they go on a train and these aliens, which are Jessica Chastain's people, try to get her so they can turn the earth into their planet and there's a final fight on the train there's no real boss fight uh the end it, it was just not not needed for anything um <clears throat> i get really annoyed when some people are like oh well i like seeing these characters on the screen no matter what on the on the screen no matter what um, you like seeing the characters, really? All the like, w all these movies was that really Wolverine? It was a good character. I don't know that that was Wolverine. Um, I don't know. <sighs> this movie was really short. It was really rushed. Dark Phoenix is an epic tale. Um, I don't know why this movie was made, and I feel like I wasted my time. Um, it's not terrible. I gave it a fifty. It was just so meh. Um, better than Apocalypse, because at least this wasn't overhyped. They just kind of, oh, okay, well, we better release this, because it's done. Um, everyone seemed kind of checked out. Beast was kind of acting sort of like a dick. I don't, I mean, uh, these are, these have never been my X-Men. There's movies that I liked. I liked, you know, Logan. I liked Days of Future Past. I like First Class. But of every single movie they've made, I've been disappointed. They're, they're just making up their own stuff based on the characters that I guess maybe these, this writer likes. I, I don't know. What, 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 what is this guy? Did this guy write? 
He wrote Fantastic Four, that crap one. I mean, he wrote The Last Stand. I mean, what? I, uh, this guy shouldn't write, like, maybe ever. Um, yeah, you don't need to see this movie. No one needs to see this movie. Don't see this movie. Anyways, let me know what you guys think, thought, like it, subscribe, did you like it? I didn't hate it. It's just, uh, okay. I went in <clears throat> with really low expectations just because, I mean, I just, uh, I was expecting it to be garbage. It wasn't a pile of garbage. It's just an average blah film. And a lot of these actors are actually better. I really like most of these actors. Um, actually, I like all the actors. They, just, they seem like they don't care. Um, it's kind of like once a hockey team knows you're not going to make the playoffs. You know, they just sort of like play to not get injured. Because they sort of have to finish the season. Um, it's kind of like that. But um, I'm glad this is over. <laughs> um, and I look forward to what Marvel does with these this franchise. Okay? Like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.